Alright boys, welcome back to some more Final Fantasy X and X to Remastered. We out here, we are about to visit this temple uh, in Jose and do this sphere thing again. Hopefully this time we can get the mysterious destruction piece here because I failed twice. But now I'm come, I've come here, you know, more prepared than the last few times I feel like. Because last few times I was kind of out, out of the loop. Well, the first time it was my first time, so I wasn't really sure what I was doing. The second time I kind of wanted to end myself in the middle of doing it. But now I'm more prepared, so hopefully it works out. And yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Uh, like I said yesterday, I was trying to, um, try to record multiple parts today and then... We'll see, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but for now, yeah, we also learned that Lucy died last part. This man's just like in AOT Marco. This man saw Lucy get torn in half. Or well, he saw his body torn in half. Rest in peace, Lucy. But Gara is here, he's crying, he's depressed. He also got these three Lucille, uh, Elma, and this guy Clasco. With the one single choke, but it's, that is still alive. And. What I will do is head over into this temple and see the results. Unless there's something back here that I haven't seen. Oh, no, I've seen everything. Yeah, let's head into the temple. Let's see how, how, how all this goes. Hopefully, I succeed. Boop, boop. What's up, Oren? Huh? So you're a champion of Yevon now, Braska? Uh, wrong name. My name's Amon. You can also call me Titus. Definitely not Braska. So you're a champion of Yevon now? Okay, what are you on about? Don't know what Oren's on about. Oh, this is the summoner that, that we're talking about. Pardon, but may I ask your name? I am Summoner Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. As I thought. <laughs> the daughter of Lord Braska. You have the look of your father. He's barely moving his lips. My father? You knew him? No. I have <coughs> never met the man. What's wrong with Kimari? Ah, my apologies. I am Isaru. I am a summoner. Like you. Well, obviously. I'm Bussy. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Moroda. I'm guarding my big brother here. Since I was a child, I've always looked up to Lord Braska. How do you know what he looks like? I wished I would someday become a high summoner like he was. You must have some of your father's talent in you. Yeah, but... I believe you might someday defeat Sin. He's still barely moving his lips. I'm not really. I've only just become a summoner. Of course, I've no intention of losing either. Losing so what? Perhaps we should race to see who can defeat Sin first. This this no. isn't a race. Oh, very well. What? Then. I accept your challenge. We're supposed to help each other. Isaru. So okay. Yuna, I beg your leave. Good luck to both of us. Yes. Okay, Isaru. So for some reason you made this a rivalry for no reason. What the frick was that about? Since when has this been a rivalry? What? <laughs> Am I the only one confused? I thought we were all s collectively trying to beat Sin. You hear that? You guys hearing this? Oh wait, it's a sorry. Yeah, what the frick? Our though? itinerary just keeps slipping. We should be climbing the slopes of Mount Gagazet by now. I keep telling him the more time we waste, the farther we'll fall behind the other summoners. I keep telling him the more time what I'm confused about is um how did why did this guy say to you now oh you have the look of your dad Lord Braska but he's he said himself he's never seen Lord Braska so what that doesn't make sense how does he know that she looks like Lord Braska unless he's seen a statue of Braska? But then you know wouldn't have re reacted like that. Should have been like, oh, okay, you've, you've seen my my dad from the statues or whatever. Either way, none of this makes sense. Can I talk to this guy? Oh, look at this kid. <laughs> what is he doing? Now we go to Kilika. 
Huh? You're not From going there we take the ferry, perhaps as far as Besaid. Why are you not going to Zanarkand? Isn't that how we destroy Sin? We go to Zanarkand? I hear Operation Mehen did not go well. Oh well, yeah, that went terribly. We summoners must do our part before another fool plan wastes more lives. We summoners must do our Fair enough. I, th I still think you're weird, bro. Hey, where you, where's the ki kid? Stop running, talk to me. Oh, it's so pretty. Pache or Pache? Oh, it's so Okay, cool. You think it's pretty. I'm glad. Let's go in here first. Bef before we enter the actual temple, let's go. Let's go to the side and check what's going on. Ooh, hello. My chocobo. <laughs> oh, chocobo. At least you're alive. <laughs> Sing again for me. <laughs> Was that his name? Okay. Let's talk to this. I mean, if she can talk, I don't know. She seems like she's. She seems like she's sick or like, you know, still worn down from that, that fight, that massacre. Yeah, she can't talk to me. Okay, cool. She's unconscious, I think, or something. The captain saved my life and got hurt. I'm so worthless. That's your captain? Yeah. Oh, well. I don't think you're worthless, but uh, hopefully she's able to, 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 to survive this, this, this travesty. Oh, obtain remedy. Sup? Oh my, we are out of funeral shrouds. All I have to offer are my prayers. Can I give you funeral shrouds? How can I get the funeral shroud? Okay. Well, what about this guy lying on the ground? Can I talk to him? Rest in peace. Oh wait, he's dead? Wait, he's not dead, is he? Or is he... He's, I think he's... I don't know, I'm stepping on him. That's all I know. I don't know if he's dead or not. And let's talk to the kid. Busy, busy. Busy, busy. What well, about this woman running around? This light, lightning pole. Yevon's blessing has saved many crusaders from since onslaught. Yes, they have disobeyed the teachings, but we cannot turn our backs on them. Respect. Alright, uh... Any like one of those books hiding in here? You know those like... Those um... Like Albed books? Learning the language, feel me? Any of those in here? I don't see them. I don't see it, I don't see it. Probably somewhere else. I've definitely missed some at some point, right? Surely, I, I'm not that attentive to be able to <laughs> notice small books everywhere. <laughs> Any small books here? Oh, well, there's another chance, I'll take that. Mega Phoenix! Ooh! Ooh! Where are you? Where did you go? Here you are. Oh! Revives in the entire part from KO. That's freaking awesome. Damn. We're all out of healing potions. Well, I'll just take your Mega Phoenix. <laughs> Even so, more wounded men are being brought here. Oh, I hope everything works out okay. This is the Temple of Yevon Jose. It is famous for its association with Lord Mihen, founder of the Crusaders. Ah, got it. Have you witnessed this dreadful sight? Oh, I could just imagine his grief. Well, he was born 800 years ago, mate. Which actually, he's younger than me, <laughs> technically. Because I was born over a thousand years ago. <laughs> okay, cool. Maybe. Captain, please wake up. Please. Oh. You are the best, Captain. We'll never forget you. Hopefully your captain. Uh, he's okay. Hopefully we'll get we'll get through this. Right, uh yeah, just I guess it's time to visit the temple. The main temple. Let's go. Hey you. You saw it? Me? You are Yuna's guardian, no? Moroda's heard a curious rumor. I thought you should know. I heard it from those crusaders. Seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappearing. What? It could just be the fiends got them, but not so many so quickly. Hmm. Sorry I don't know more, but watch your back. Hmm. Ain't much future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? True. What? What? What you all talking about? 
talking about? We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. Hey, I'm doing good. Right, big brother? <laughs> Please be careful. Will do. Alright, thanks. This guy seems Passe. less... Oh, what? Passe. That's how you We're pronounce leaving. That's how you pronounce it. Be right there. Hey, this guy this guy seems less of a piece of crap than Seymour. I still think Seymour is sus. So they full on left, right? Yeah, I can't talk to them anymore. Cool. Let's just go to the temple now. Oh the cloister of trials lies within. Are you prepared? Yes, this is what I've come here for. This is what I've what I'm gonna do. Alright. Praise be to heaven or something like that. May your heart be your guiding key. That's what I like to say. <laughs> All right, guardians, at attention. We are ready. All right, let's do it. All right, <laughs> this puzzle again. Okay, I drill say sphere. All right, let's uh, put it there. Yes, yes, yep. Insert sphere, okay. This first puzzle seems fair enough, but uh, y'all know this gets more and more complicated as we go. Here we go. Put it there. Insert sphere. That should open up the door. Alright, simple enough. But that's just the start of it. Now it gets more complicated. Yep. I see a destruction sphere, personally. Alright, so we've got to get in here. Uh, La la la, we got this thing. We got two spheres there. We got this thing. Wait, what's this? a glyph glows on the wall? Okay. We got okay, we got a sphere thing there. Two sphere things there. What that thing's on the on the ceiling. How am I supposed to get to that? And we have a destruction sphere here. Oh! No, this is not a destruction sphere, this is just a reset sphere. Okay. So I can take this here. What does that do? Oh. Hmm. Interesting. What happens if I put it there? Insert here. Okay. What well, if you take the other one? Now the light is gone. What if I put it there too? Insert here. Something happened. That thing's lighting up. Uh, okay. Right. Now I have one more sphere here, and I'm assuming if I remove this... Oh! I didn't mean to do that. Okay, if I assume if I remove this thing, the entire thing stops lighting up. Stops lighting up, I mean. Let's see what happens. No, this thing is still lighting up. What if I push this then? What happens? Okay, nothing happened. Let's reset it. What if I push it left? Although it is pointing downwards, so I wonder. I wonder if that means anything. God damn it, push, god damn it, I'm trying y'all. Push. There we go. It's pointing downwards. So I wanna, I wanna try pu pu pushing it downwards. What happens? Nope. No effect. Okay, I'm, I can't be bothered doing that all over again. I'm just gonna do this. Push it to the right. What happens if I do this? Ah. I guess I'm supposed to put this here in here. And some light beam is gonna pop off. Okay, I still don't see the destruction sphere anywhere. Oh, it's it's a charred sphere. Okay, let's not take it. Let's push this back, I guess. But where's this destruction sphere? Uh, I don't wanna. I feel, I'm scared of. I'm scared of finishing this without getting the destruction sphere treasure. No. Okay, I mean, I don't see it as far as... Hopefully there's like a second puzzle and that activates it? 
But that is the destruction sphere. Oh, don't push the snow. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see what happens. If I take this here and put it in here. See, that rhymes. That, that, I'm guessing that opens up the door. But is that what we want? Oops. Well, the door hasn't even been opened. Can do this then? No. I've taken the sphere again. Can I put it in any of these two thingies? Okay. That works. Can I do this? And put this there too, maybe? Okay. Can I then take this off? Hmm. Can I do this? Oh. Stand on this. Put this in, in here. Insert sphere. Can I push this right again? Ah, come on. Will this start glowing as well? Is that how this works? No? Hmm. Hmm. Oh! Okay. Uh, so does it have to be these two then? No, don't do that. Run to the other side, please. Thank you. So, what happens if I just sit there then? See, that thing's not lighting up anymore. So what then? <laughs> Good question, Ammon. I guess I have to light this up as well. Can I do that by doing this? Okay. But that's not lighting it up. Ah! Maybe... Let's see, maybe... Maybe these two puzzles are connected? I know this has never worked in any of the puzzles so far. But let's do it anyway. Maybe inserting these all the way back here has an effect. It does. I'm gonna have to press the other one here as well. But, um... Is that what we want? Is the real question. Is that what we want? Maybe we really what we want to do is this. No? Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll take this back. I I'll take the bet. I shall take the bet. Come on. I need the destruction sphere treasure. I want it. I want it. Don't open the door. Yes, it didn't open the door. Beautiful. Okay. Now everything's lit up. If you take this. Okay, that thing stops glowing. Now let's put it there. That opens the door, I'm guessing. Cool. Let's not go through. Because I want the destruction sphere. Or should I just go through? I wonder. I wonder. What happens if I go through? Is there more puzzles? Huh. Okay, I have to light that up anyway. But that closes the door! Frick! So I have to put this in there anyway. Okay. So if I take this out, I close the door. Problem is, I have to light this up too. Right, because I'm gonna die. I can't walk through there. That lightning is gonna kill me. Um. Hmm. Can I push this up front? Does that affect anything, I wonder? See ya. <laughs> Alright guys, guys, 
You guys are genius puzzle solvers, right? All of you watching. Let me know how to solve this. Alright, here we go. Let's take that. Does that close the door? It doesn't close the door. Interesting. Interesting. Doing this does not close the door. What does doing this do? Lights start up, okay. Uh, but how do we light that up? Hmm. Take that. That stopped lighting up. What if I do this then? Okay, that lights up. Okay, let's take this. Mm. That thing at the bottom is always lighting up, which I find interesting. Doing this again, it doesn't do anything. We're sure of this, right? We're sure that this still doesn't do anything, right? Like, this doesn't do any shenanigans with lighting anything up. Right? Nothing happens. Nope, the thing isn't working. Hmm. Does it have to do with pushing this somewhere? Do you have to push this with a sphere on it? To work, to, to have it work. Oh wait. Oh. Oh. Wait. Wait a second. I might have figured something out. Depending on how the game... The game... The game works. Uh, I don't know if the puzzle works like that. Does it work like that? Mm, no. Not as far as I'm aware. I was hoping something would like that would light up the sphere because like you can see the lines, right? Unless I'm supposed to, uh, I'm supposed to push it to the wall. Huh? I might be mega dumb. I probably am. Yeah, we gotta push it to the wall. Is something supposed to light up? Hmm. No, don't do nothing. Take this here. Ah. Hmm. Ah, no, not that. Do nothing. What if I um? What if we're on the other side? Bang. And then bang. And then maybe. Maybe some magical thing happens? And then... Never mind. <laughs> uh -huh. Do you want to take this off? I don't know. I do not know. I, I do not see this puzzle. Is there... Is there something I can do that I don't see? There's, I mean, there definitely is, right? But... Can I... Yeah. Can I accomplish anything? Hmm... I, I don't see it. I don't see it, y'all. This puzzle is stomping me. And we're, I'm, I, by the way, guys, don't worry. Uh, I'm not gonna Google it. I will brute force this. I refuse to Google how to how the solution to this is. I will figure it out. Trust. This closes the door.
we'll take the chance of that and put it there. Maybe. Surely lining that up has to have some relevancy. No? Right? And then... There's gotta be a reason I can light up that middle bit. There ha- oh, don't. There has to be a reason for this. This doesn't send good enough signal. Wait, what does this thing say? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what does that symbol say? Does it tell me anything? A glyph goes on the wall. So if I put that glyph goes on the wall, if I put that, the glyph works. If I put this here, then everything glows. See, everything glows. You guys seen this? Everything glows. Does that... Can I do anything with the everything ever glowing? Is there a purpose to everything glowing? Oops, I won't turn it twice somehow. If, if, if this is the entire part, so be it, y'all. If the entire part is just me trying to figure out this puzzle, so be it. Oh, frick. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't care how long it takes. Bang. I get it, that doesn't do anything. Let's move this around. That thing is special. <laughs> Seems like I can put any sphere there though. Have you guys seen that? I think I can put any sphere there. Like, this is clearly a special sphere. This one. But yeah, no, this... I can put any sphere here too. I can put any sphere here, here, and there. The only sphere I can put anywhere is... Is that one? Is the... Is the school one? Wait a minute. I'm currently holding the school sphere, right? Yeah, I'm, cu I'm currently holding the... The super bright sphere, I think. Right, am I? Is this a super, like, bright, cool sphere I'm holding? It is. I'm pretty sure it is. Do we have, if I put it there, do, can it, can, does it open the door? No, it's not. Wait. Is that not the super cool bright sphere? Sphere? Wait a minute. Is it? Wait a minute. Am I changing its symbol? Wait a minute! Wait, 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 wait. This is the super cool bright symbol. This, this can open the door, right? Correct. Correct. This can open the door. But that doesn't help me. That's not what you want right now. We've known we can open the door for a while now. That's not... Hmm. There's probably something really obvious I'm missing. That, I keep, that I'm not seeing. That's how it always goes with puzzle stuff. Hmm. Again, this doesn't light up that. I've tried that before, but... Mm. I, 
I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. Hmm. What is making this thing shine? The door or something. What is making the door shine? The, those lights. This door. That's what make it... I don't... Mm. Oh, so is that some symbol on top of the door? Can I leave it? <laughs> no, I can't. Okay. Uh, okay. Do we test if we die if by running here? Do we die? I can't even run through there, okay. So there's no point in testing it. There seems to be a sphere over there, y'all see that, right? What sphere is on the other side? It's like a green sphere. Can I make that green sphere activate with this green sphere in any way? Can I use the lightning to activate it? How about this? I'll send two... I'll send these two charged... These two spheres down the drain with this thing and hopefully these two charge up the next time I see them. See y'all guys. Peace. Time to die. Bye bye. Woo! That worked? What? No way that worked! You're joking! That was the solution all along? Wow! Wow, that's crazy, bruh. But like, what now? Oh! Don't take that. No, I still have, I've, I've yet to find the destruction sphere. I feel, I feel like if I take that, I win. Right? What is that? Uh... Where's the destruction sphere? Can I take this sphere? I cannot take that sphere. Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared of winning this without taking the destruction sphere, y'all. I didn't know that was the solution. Okay. I'm guessing if I can win by just doing this, put it there, and bang. However, what if I do this instead? Yeah. Alright, all right, wait. What if I do that instead? Can I get the destruction sphere? Come on. We have to get the destruction sphere. What happens if I put this there? Destruction sphere? No? No destruction sphere? And if I put this there? Right, because this doesn't have that signal. Got it. That's okay. If I put this... If I put this there... And then... Do nothing. And then... If I put this... Okay. If I put this there... I know that opens up. But wait, wait, wait. If I put this... If I put this there... Uh-huh. Do, do I really have to put... I'm scared of doing this without getting the destruction sphere, is the problem. I, I feel like I know, I know what you guys are thinking, I mean there's an obvious solution to this. But I'm scared of doing it. But okay, fine, I'll try. I'll try that method. But I'm scared it'll be in vain. I'm scared that there's no point in that method. Because I, I, I see the obvious solution, guys. I'm not dumb, but... I'm scared. I want the destruction sphere. Please tell me this gives me the destruction sphere. I do not want to go through. Just give me the instructions here. Okay. 
kuat uh, I don't want to go down there is there destruction sphere down there that, I'm guessing that's gonna break and I don't want to do that let's do this guys I don't want I don't want I don't want to I don't want that I do not want to go down there bro I want the destruction sphere what the frick man do I risk it no no I don't want I don't want the destruction sphere oh I really want that was one of the goals of this part hmm guys I'm scared guys to step on it uh oh I stepped on it Whoa, okay. It works like an elevator. Okay. What the frick? Is the destruction sphere up there? Oh, what the... What is this? What? Oh, it's the destruction sphere. Oh my god. Take it, take it, take it. Okay. I got the destruction sphere. Where now? Did I press this? Press this. What to do with the destruction sphere? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm supposed to put it there? Put. Oh my god. Give me the special treasure. No. I want the destruction sphere treasure. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe. Maybe we take it. What? Okay, let's take the elevator. Let's go up here and bring the destruction sphere with me. Hopefully, I can go back. I can go back down. Okay. Ah, uh, blah. Uh, what the frick is going on here? Okay, wait. Can I put the destruction sphere here? Put it here. Give me the treasure. All right, let's, let's try putting it there. Put it there. No! P put the destruction sphere! Uh-oh. Don't, don't, don't finish the game. Oh wait, I have to light everything up. But what about the destruction sphere? What the frick? Do we just light everything up? And the destruction sphere? Where did I put that? I guess, I guess we do all this. Uh, I hope something good comes out of this, y'all. Uh, wait, there's two things. There's two pieces here, seems like. Alright, there we go. I swear to God, you better give me the destruction sphere treasure. What the frick? Uh, lightning! Oh? Okay. Wait! Now please put the destruction sphere. Does this li lightning kill me? No. Destruction sphere? Here, maybe? Please? <gasps> oh my god, it worked! Oh my god, yeah, 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 give me that treasure! What the frick? I did it! Obtain ma ma magic sphere? What? The frick is a magic sphere? Uh, 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 oh. Fills empty notes sphere grid? Oh. Oh. Really? Okay, I really, I, I got hyped because of that. I mean, like, can we, can we check how good it is at least? Sphere grid for, let's say, Orin. I think he's got an empty note. I'm not gonna test it. I'm not gonna put it. Can I? Let's not use it there. No, don't put it there. Can I check how much it gives me? How much MP it gives me? Or, uh, does it say? Can I not check how much it gives me? No? Okay. There we go, boys. I got a ma magic sphere. Woo. I guess I'll give it to Lulu. I mean, the more MP she has, the better. Uh, um, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but that was not necessarily it. 
Oh, that's the tr Hey, you know what? I can I, I, di I did it, at least, I think. Oh, I went down. I'm supposed to go through the stairs. I think I have everything. I got a piece. Puzzle has to offer. I got stuck in it for a very long time, that's for sure. Let's go up these stairs then. Unless, wait. There's no way you're telling me there's more of the puzzle? I'm done with the puzzle now, right? Yep, I think I am. Stop pacing around. Be calm and wait. All right. Stop pacing. Around. Okay. Look at these things, thingies. <laughs> what do you think of this, Walker? We wait here. Okay. We wait here. We wait. We here. Well, well, you again. It's Donna. Still traveling with quite the crowd, I see. And you're still banging your what is it, your guy. You know this riffraff. You are. Are no. What of it? She's still banging her and guardian. I shake your hand. Arin. <laughs> no. Sir Arin. He's a simp. You're the reason I became a guardian. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Laugh at him. Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Brasco Riffraff? And you call yourself a summoner? Damn! Bartello, enough! Get back here! Hang in there, buddy! Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Donna got demolished there. Frick her. Stop pacing around. Ah. Oh yeah, they're both still arguing. I'll get to them in a second. Quite the show, yeah? Not so good on the heart, though. Not all summoners are like you, I guess. <laughs> not all summoners. I guess not. She's a special summoner. I swear, I'll never wash this hand again. <laughs> Please touch me with that hand, and I'll remove. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Please wash your hands though guys, seriously. Uh, even if you meet your idol, someone you respect a lot, wash your hands. For real. Not for real though. <laughs> God damn. You really simp for, for Auron there. Ugh. I met Sir Auron. The Sir Auron. Yeah. But, man, you need to chill. I met Sir How much longer? She sure is taking her sweet time. She's gotta pray, you know. A lot of people died not too long ago. We've got places to go. We can't be kept waiting like this. We've got places. Yeah. To okay. I met some. These two are probably gonna be annoying us till the end of the game, right? <laughs> They're just gonna be there. You should try to settle down. You know we'll be blamed if anything happens. I'm settling down. I'm down. Now we wait. This is also a guardian's duty. Waiting? Of course. Waiting is everyone's duty. Everyone waits at some point in their life. Now we wait. Okay. Uh, I can talk to Kimari. Kimari seems to be holding the door now. So if I talk to Kimari, I guess that'll that'll start a new cutscene up. Kimari? Pick spot. Shut up. Wait. At least you're talking. You're not being nice to me, but at least you're talking to me. You grow stronger, but are still a pup. <laughs> you grow. Ah. So. Not awesome. So I talk to Or. Stop pacing. I guess I want. I need to go this way to keep going. I'm gonna go back, boys. Bye. Oh, she's done. Oh, she looks tired. Uh. Are you okay? Oh. You owe much to your father. All these guardians. And Sir Oren too? And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. Well, frick him. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. I am traveling on my own, as a full-fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? Then try <laughs> standing on your own two legs for once. Oh, frick 
Ficky Dona. Ficky Dona, Ficky Seymour. Shut up. And you think you're ficking simp for Orin, Will? Anyway, we've gone to sleep. Oh, I got a new Aeon. Face has interest in new Aeon. Uh, Ixion? Uh, he sounds like... His name sounds like Zexion. Right? Zexion, Ixion. Um, do I call him that? Do I just keep him as Ixion? Nah, but every single one of my Aeons so far has had a One Piece reference. Alright, so Ixion sounds like Zexion from Kingdom Hearts. Who is also known as uh, if you move, if you if you take his somebody name, his name is Actually what was Wait what, what, what is wait I forgot I played Kingdom Hearts 3, I should know. What what is Zexion's somebody name? Yenzo, of course. Yenzo. Okay, how can I make a one piece reference out of this? Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Let me think. Who in, who in one, does anyone in one piece have blue hair? Oh, we've got freaking Nojiko. But she doesn't share anything with Zexion, does she? No. Uh, this guy does look, also look like Ira from uh, Kingdom Hearts Key back cover. <laughs> oh man, I'm only getting Kingdom Hearts references. But that has literally nothing. But that makes it make sense because this, this is a Final Fantasy game. But it has nothing to do with One Piece. And this Ixion guy, he does have some blue hair. I could go with the logical one. The, another person that has blue hair is Hiori, but Hiori has light blue hair. And this guy has dark blue hair, and so does Sexy. And so I think I will go with Nojiko. Besides, I think I need to shout her up because no One Piece fan wants to talk about her and I think she's such a cool character. I think the design is really cool when it comes to One Piece. I mean, a lot of One Piece characters, female, at least female character designs, aren't great. Well, it, all of them feel like they're copy-paste of Nami. I just recently saw Kaya from Zero Village. Kaya, Nami, you got Rebecca, Vivi, like... A lot of these, the female characters do feel like a bit of copy-paste. At least I like pudding if she had a third eye when there was that for her. You know, and then you get the minx, you get diff different female character designs. My favorite character design in One Piece, which is Perona, but Perona has nothing to do with this guy. I'm going with Nojiko, uh, which is random, which is like we go from Sunny Girl to Ace, both very prominent, important characters in One Piece. The Nojiko is not that relevant. Right? I mean, I, I'd, I'd be fine with it if she was more relevant, personally, because I think she's really cool. But, uh... I should actually check if I, I pronounced it cor correctly. Let me check if I pronounced it correctly. Because, uh, let's see. Uh, I said pronounce, I meant spell. You guys know what I mean, spell. Uh, Noji Kong from One Piece. And I guess we can also see if, if she looks like this, uh... What's his name? I really forgot his name. Uh, I think his name was... It was something Zek, like close to Zexion, like Ixion, I think. Or something like that. So let's see, Nojiko. Damn it. Nojiko, did I spell it? I think I have, because I'm... I'm uh, I, I would not be a real One Piece fan if I couldn't spell her name right now. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> I think that's what it's spelled. Come on, internet, work for me, baby. Work for me. Let me know if I sp spell this name correctly. Nah, no Jiko. Come on. Yeah, I did spell it correctly. And she does have light blue hair, similar to this guy. I feel like I just have to go with it. How about we search up blue haired One Piece characters? One. Blue haired One Piece. Blue haired One Piece character. S characters. Who we got? We got Vivi. Obviously there's Vivi, but she's got light blue hair. I'm talking more like dark blue. Yeah! Like, not like Vivi or, or, um... We also got On, who's... Well, in the anime she's a filler character, but in the manga... In the manga, On is actually, um... Uh, uh, well, she, she's canon in the, like, the prototype, I guess, of One Piece. Right? In the, one of the prototypes. She's one of the first, like, original, original characters in One Piece. But we do have Nojiko. I think Nojiko is the one. We got Ayn from the One Piece f 
film Z movie or Z or whatever Z Z whatever film Z. She's got like dark blue hair, but it's more like green, dark green hair. Uh, dark and uh, dark blue. I'll give it a dark blue. It's, it's yeah. We got his name is her name is Ain. We got Frankie, but Frankie again is light blue. I want darker blue. We got who? Whitey Bay. We got Mero, who is a fisherman. Man, a lot of blue haired won't be scared. We got Fukaboshi, he's one of the um he's one of the freaking fishmen, like royal guys. Oh yeah! We got her from Fishman Island as well. Um the freaking fortune teller girl. Uh Shirley. Shir Shirley Shirley Madame Shirley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh actually No actually though. Actually, Buggy, you're right. He's more. Re he's actually. A oh, I'm sorry, Nojiko. I'm gonna have to quit buggy now. Oh man, that's that's a shout, you know. That's a good shout. And because he's so goofy and looks so Disney-like, it actually fits with Kingdom Hearts and then the Zeki and stuff. I'm actually down. Buggy the clown. It's. He doesn't necessarily have dark blue hair. I mean, he doesn't. He kind of does. Kind of does have dark blue. We'll give him that. You know, I'm sorry, Nojiko. We'll give this to Buggy. We'll give the dub to Buggy. Yes! I'm sorry, Nojiko. I'd, although I will say, Nojiko deserves more respect in the One Piece community, but I'm gonna have to go with Buggy. Let's go. Freaking hell, yes. Of course. Not, 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 not a big U. Small U. Uh, B U. Where's the U? This Buggy. Why? Buggy. There we go. Uh, enter. Confirm. Proceed. Got a new Aeon called Buggy. We did it. Huh? No matter how dark the night, morning always comes. And our journey begins anew. Sure. No matter how... And our journey... What do you think of this, Waka? We're leaving once Yuna gets here. And what the frick is Yuna? We're leaving once you Is she ever gonna get here? Good question. <laughs> this inn belongs to the Jose Temple. Will you be staying with us for the night? Uh, I want this chest. <laughs> that I've been trying to get since earlier. Finally that guy's off. Really? Really? That was on that ch I think if I'm right, yeah. It's this trash. <laughs> <laughs> really? I was expecting something good. I saw I remember selling this. It's not great. It's 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 really not great. Uh, I was expecting something better. I'm genuinely dis I'm genuinely disappointed because of how long I was waiting. To you know, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll I'm going to sell it to you right now. I'm going to sell that. That's how disappointed I am. Really? That was what was in there. A freaking switch hero. How much does it even sell for? Eh. Sure. Give, give me that money. Done. Actually, can I buy something good from you? No, I don't want to rest. Fine, I'll rest! I didn't mean to do that. Can I buy anything good from you? Uh, any good weapons? Trash. No, I think we, we've already determined that most of these weapons are trash compared to what I already have. So, yeah, I don't want to sell anything, so let's, I don't want to buy any items, do I? I don't think. Yeah, no. Alright, bye. <laughs> Alright, do I save and quit, or do I talk to these bad boys first? I think, uh, let's talk to Kimari. Donna has left. Isaru too. Donna had... Okay, I'm glad they left. Donna. We're leaving once Yuna gets here. So let me save. We're leaving once. You won't let me save because of that. Frick you. Get ready for the journey ahead. Get ready. Okay. So you're not allowing me to save at all? Oh, you are. Thank you. Cool. Uh, let's do that. Alright, let's save again. On the other save, just making sure we're updated. And boom 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 boom. 
There we go. All right. I hope y'all enjoy this part of Final Fantasy X and X2 remastered. I, uh, <laughs> you guys might remember how last part I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I had a lap today. I didn't go to it. I overslept. Oh my god. I hate myself. But I get another chance because next. Because today is Thursday, and next week I get another chance next Thursday. Uh, so, because I, I emailed them, uh, well, I emailed them the um, the lab guy, and he was like, "Yeah, it's okay. Just you can come next week." And I'm like, "Whew, okay, I'm saved." So, yeah, my fault on that one. Tomorrow I still have to go to uni, though. So, eh, there's that. And tomorrow's a Friday, so yeah, good stuff coming. I I might record another part later, cause right now I'm thinking of thinking of doing some laundry just be, just before the evening comes, um, so that it's done by the time I go to sleep, right? And I can. Like, like, put it up for to let it dry through the night. Um, so I think I'll do that first. Just have to, have to get the laundry going. Maybe go get some closer groceries real quick. I think. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, part. It was mostly just me trying to figure out <laughs> the uh, the temple. But I did, and I spent some time also trying to name my guy, my Aeon. That took some time. Probably should not have taken that long, but it took some time. And we're gonna end this. We're actually gonna end this part in the exact same spot we ended the last part, which is which is cool, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'll see y'all maybe later. I mean, I'm definitely gonna record tomorrow, but I'll see y'all maybe later. I might record later as some more another part I do not know I have not decided <laughs> we'll see I will see uh, but yeah hope y'all like I said hopefully you guys enjoyed my attempt at puzzle solving I did manage to get the instructions here it wasn't what I wanted to have I'll be honest it, it was not what I desired but I got what I got, you feel me, and I don't know, I can't, can't complain about that, right? Uh, next part, we finally think we're going to leave Jose along with Yuna, and we're going to go to the next area, and we're going to do more stuff, and it's going to be a new arc, essentially, we're going to do some new stuff. There's probably going to be a lot of cutscenes next arc, considering, uh, next arc, next part, uh, also next part as well, but that's just in general how Final Fantasy games go. So yeah, next part, we start the journey, and I think part after that, like if if it follows the trend, we're gonna be doing a lot of fights, and then we're gonna be doing a boss fight, and then a big climax happens, and then the arc ends, and then the short arc after that. That's usually how this game goes. It it plays on those kind of that kind of repeating climax so far, which is fine with me. I'm having fun with it, and uh, yeah. Uh, I'm having a blast with this game, loving it, great fun, which is why I'm going to keep playing. I hope you guys enjoy watching me play as much as I enjoy playing this, and uh, like I always say with all of the games I've played so far on my channel, uh, I may not like, my, I may not have liked playing all, the, all those games equally as much, you know, there, there's obviously some games on my channel that I enjoy playing more than other games on my channel. But for the most part, I enjoyed playing all of them. There's none of them that I regret playing. And at the end of the day, I hope you all enjoyed watching me play through all of them. At least equally. Maybe you guys enjoyed watching me play through some games more than others. If you have been watching me play through all the games, maybe this is the only game you've watched me play through. Maybe you're just watching this, I don't know, without really thinking about what games I've played in the past. But at the end of the day, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I will see you all next part for some more Final Fantasy X. This is what I was trying to get to with that entire talk all the time. So yeah, more Final Fantasy X and X2 Remastered next time. I hope you all enjoyed. And yes sir, y'all. Peace.